Elta Company presents. I've lived with diabetes for 16 years. 21, 13, 23. 425 million people live with diabetes in the world today. Diabetes is unpredictable, insidious, and surrounded by myths and prejudice. It is often described as a verdict. No way! There can be no verdict. Diabetes is not a reason to give up on your life. Diet Challenge began in 2018. The participants of the project would have to show what it is like to be unafraid and to take action. To seriously change many aspects of your life. Three experts. Six months of hard work. One big goal. They will be able to control their diabetes and understand themselves. We challenged ourselves. Have you? Diet Challenge is a six-month transformation process. It is a unique reality project where the participants challenge themselves to reach their set goals despite their serious condition, and they proved that it is possible. I can proudly announce that I am one of them. Come on, Dasha! I was very afraid of failing, that I would give up on everything. It did not happen that way. I did it. My question will be about hypoglycemia. What is the formula to treat hypos? Thank you for the question. Fast, faster. How much did you lose? According to my profile, I filled out for casting, I was at 68 kilos. This morning, I weighed 54 kilos. Meal bolus is properly adjusted, however, there is a lot of the basal or we have active insulin from the previous meal. I feel like I was born again. My consciousness has changed. I feel refreshed and confident. That's right, I feel the same. Perfect. Nothing to pick at, a perfect lunch. I hope this project will inspire many people, inspire them to never give up and to keep working. That's it. This is the last one. The last. When I look back, I can't believe that was me. You're all different. The pump does not work the same for everyone. Not at all. I think that was some other Nastya. That Nastya did not watch her nutrition, nor her sugars. During the three months, the participants were learning to control their diabetes under the supervision of an endocrinologist, a trainer, and a psychologist. They spent another three months on independent work without the experts. It is time to take the final medical exam and to total it all up. Hello, Veronika. How are you doing? You look great. And the belly. How do you feel? I'm okay. Much better than it was in my second trimester. How are your glucose levels? More or less, but with 50% of carbs, I get about 20 bread units. So, 150 insulin units per day? Is that normal? It's pregnancy. When I first came to you, my main concern was becoming pregnant and having a child. I was very worried about the baby's health and my own. Just the thought of what could go wrong gave me chills. It's funny to even talk about it now. It was May 6th or 9th when we first had the conversation. According to the ultrasound, the moment of conception was on May 16th. So, it was a week after we talked and somebody up there decided that it was time. Veronika is great. I have no complaints about her in terms of her compensation. As far as I know, her current endocrinologist feels the same way. I have some minor questions in terms of her nutrition. She began to feel sorry for herself a little bit. Spaghetti, cheese, yogurt before night. Yes, you need carbs, but I don't like how you spread them out. If you think that you will have spaghetti for dinner, then have your yogurt earlier in the day. I wish to all of the people with diabetes to believe in themselves, to never give up and to always remember that all of the fears and difficulties are only in our heads. Each one of us can overcome anything in the world. Hello, Dasha. How are you doing? 
I would feel better if I was not sick. Do you have a temperature? No. What's wrong? Just a cough. How are your sugars doing? Well, when I was sick, they were always high. I could not lower them. She came a long way. She truly learned a lot. I want to be like Ola or Dina already, to always know what to do, but I'm still struggling to figure everything out. How long did it take Ola to figure it out? Have you ever asked her that question? No, I haven't. How long did it take Dina? Dina, please tell us your story. I was diagnosed in 1997. Back then, all we had was animal insulin. Later on, insulins like ActRapid and Protofan became available. They were good, but were difficult in terms of compensation. At that time, everybody would adjust their food to match their insulin instead of the other way around. So you would inject four units of ActRapid at lunch, four at breakfast, and four at dinner. Naturally, your body is very sensitive, especially if you're a child. Everything would constantly change, and I would have to go back to the hospital and readjust my insulin to match the hospital food. Of course, my glucose levels would jump, and I would feel terrible. Even when I was 9 or 10 years old, it was obvious to me that a different amount of insulin was necessary. Something had to be done about high glucose levels. This is why I began to inject insulin on my own, early on. My parents did not even know about it. Just recently, I carried out an interesting experiment. We were having a regional conference, and I decided to have an experiment. I used to always hide my insulin pump, so nobody would see it. This time, I decided to do the opposite. I decided to show it off to everybody, to see how many people would ask me questions by the end of the two-day event. It was quite surprising, but I did not receive a single question. My favorite quote in Latin is per aspera ad astra, through hardships to the stars. This is why I would like to wish everybody, regardless of what circumstances they might encounter, always strive for their highest goals. Never be afraid to set the bar high for themselves and always achieve them. Hello, Nura. Hello, I'm fine. Just a bit sick, got a cold. Why are all of you sick? You will make the doctor sick too. What's going on? What about your glucose level? Did you just get sick? No, I, I hope it's almost over. It's been three weeks like this. Oh my gosh. Yes, this time it's hard. Do you have a cough? No, no cough. Just all stuffed up. My nose, ears and my head. Everything. Anastasia impressed me with her patience. The way she is? Uh, not with all of us, of course. There were those, myself included, that she had to battle with over and over and over. To break down this wall. To make us, people with a long history of diabetes, to turn around and try a different path from the one that we've been on the last 30, 20 years. Dear friends, do I need these words? Uh, okay, I'm ready. I would like to wish our Diet Challenge audience to never give up. To never ever give up. Go after your goals and your dreams. That's all. Is that enough? Hello, Dima. How are you doing? Right now, everything is great. How do you feel? Fantastic! Do you remember how you felt when we first met? Not bad. Tell me, has anything changed since then, or is everything the same? Some things did change. We have an expert on Dmitri's changes. His name is Nikita. Please tell us in your own words, how do you think your father has changed in the last six months? Yes. Before, when his sugars dropped, he behaved aggressively without realizing that he was doing it. Now he feels when he's having a hypo. But honestly, he barely has hypos anymore. Hypoglycemia causes aggression and misunderstandings. Of course, it's not good for the family. 
Of course, some questions will always remain, but for now, the difference is immense. I never thought that it would be this comprehensive, so serious and deep. Let's discuss this further. Look, you had some cottage cheese, a mango and milk. In your opinion, should you count the fat protein units? Yes, for the cottage cheese. How much cottage cheese was there? 200 grams with cottage cheese. I always do one unit. And it works all right for you? Yes. How long was your pause? 60 minutes. Good for you. She loves being a part of a team. She gets a kick out of it. You have to be careful. The emotional moments that we experienced here, the tears of joy, I think will stick with us for life. I achieved the goal that I was after. Now for my next goal, I want to have a second child. I want a girl. I want to wish everyone who lives with diabetes never lose hope and self-control. Fight for your life. Go after your goals and everything will be fine. Do you have any questions for me? How are your sugars? In terms of my glucose level, all week I ate veggies and proteins for dinner. And my sugar would fall in the morning. How low does it go? To an apparent hypoglycemia. When I get up, why don't you lower your basal by about 10%? Change your temporary basal rate. I did change it. I set it to 40%. I experimented for three days. I don't think 40 is enough. It shot right back up at 40. But when I had it at 80%, it would fall and go down. Dear colleagues, I am happy to see you. The three months period of the second stage has ended. Tell me about those three months. What were our participants up to? What are your impressions? Who is the winner of stage two? The discussion of the results of the second stage of the project lasted for four hours. It is difficult to choose one when everyone has achieved his or her goals. Throughout their entire period of independent work, the participants continued to post reports in the Diet Challenge group and ask questions. It was this information that helped the experts come to a final decision. In my opinion, Daria showed the most noticeable effort and result. Nastya also got very involved in the work. I would say that the second stage somehow slowed down. If you look at the videos that the participants posted, in the second stage there were fewer of them. My three favorites are Dima, uh, he continues regular posting, Nastya and Dasha. Ola also posts, but less frequently. Dima has no issues with his compensation. I have no bones to pick with him. Dima! I would like Nastya to win. She's very young, and I think this is not the last time we hear of her. Who would I personally choose? I would say Dmitry Shevkunov. Nyura is quite productive and has great work potential. She's always ready to take on long training sessions. I can see now that by the end of the project, she made the move to being more open. Many things happened with Nyura from my side. We were changing insulins throughout the project. I think it is between Dasha and Dina. In my opinion, both of them did a lot. If I had to vote, I would give my vote to one of the two. Let's talk about Dina. After the terms of the second stage were announced, 
She did not like having to report to the diet challenge group. She said she would not do that. This, of course, stands in the way of objectively assessing her results. Who is going to be the winner of diet challenge? That's my guess. When it comes to Dasha, I would like to praise her for her eating habits. She's a fighter, she truly fought for it. I have no complaints. By and large, you chose her for her perseverance? Yes. She's trying. That's a fact. So it's either Dmitri or Dasha. And Veronika. Dina, tomorrow is our last day filming. Who's going to be the winner in your opinion? I don't know. Dear participants, I am very happy to see all of you. Today we spoke with the experts, and each one of them spoke of your work in the last three months. Each one of you showed him or herself differently. Veronika is going to have a baby. Dima no longer has sugar spikes. Anastasia lost weight and began to cook. Olya, you, as the winner of the first stage, showed us a tremendous will to success and to transform in a short time. Yelena also transformed, became happy. Dasha, you have come a long way. Some circumstances could have shaken your confidence while participating in the project. But you carried on. Nura, I think you can see the changes in yourself. Your new understanding of yourself and your diabetes. Dina initially showed deep knowledge in the field of diabetes. You look great. Thanks. You have lost weight, although experts do not quite agree that this is good for you. A new phase of your life begins now. A truly independent phase. From this day on, no more reports. It is now time to announce the winner. I'll even reveal a secret. During the first stage, this person was one of the top contenders, but it was too early to become a winner. The second stage showed that this person gave it all that she had. And this person is Dasha. Congratulations! Get up! Congratulations! Oh my god, I completely did not expect that, really! Well done! Thank you! I'm in shock! Tell us, how do you feel right now? Thank you! I did not expect this, really! I'm a fan of crying on camera! I'm so grateful to you. You helped me in changing my life. This is truly the beginning. This is a huge beginning in my life. A great, magical kick. I am no longer afraid. I am seriously not scared. I know that even if I don't get everything right, that I have all of you. There are so many of you. I have never had this many people in my life before. Thank you.
Let's applaud. Oh my God. Every process in this life has a completion. Completion is the beginning of something new. I want your relationship with diabetes to mature as fast as possible. I wish you all success, perseverance, and may the stars help you. Let this not be some short-term stage in your life. Let it be with you for the rest of your life. That is the skills and the knowledge that you received on the project. Do not be afraid to use them. Be sure to do it. Take care of yourself and your health. May everything work out for you in your life. I wish you all good health, a narrow corridor in terms of glucose levels. Good luck, and we are always here for you. Оля Щукина asked me to say the phrase, never give up. So, never give up. 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 Don't give up. We challenged ourselves. Have you? Done. Thank you. Well done.